Well, America has experienced a rapid, in fact, a massive inflation in genders. At one point, biologists were allowed to determine what biology was, and there were two, male and female. Now, there's agender, bigender, two-spirit, herja, hedra, we could go on forever, uh, literally forever, because the core orthodoxy is that there are infinite genders, but not everyone agrees. Some people believe in science at their peril, it turns out. Lake Engel is one of them. He's a student at Indiana University of Pennsylvania. In a religion class, a class about Christianity, he stated his belief that there are two genders because, again, that's biology. And for that, he was told he had to apologize in front of the class, stand silently while they critiqued him, re-education camp stuff. Lake Engel joins us tonight. Lake, thanks for coming up. Thanks for having me, Tucker. So I don't know if I was mischaracterizing that. You had this professor called Allison Downey who was so threatened because you disagreed with her that she tried to get you to sign some form apologizing for your unorthodox, non-allowed thoughts, and then what happened? Right, yeah, she asked that I would sign a document complying with her, asking me to apologize to the class as well as giving her a written apology. She asked that I would stand in front of the class in silence um, as I apologized, and then they would give any comments on my outbursts. Did she say what specifically she was so offended by? Uh, she didn't like the fact that I disagreed with the subject being pushed in class, being more than one gender, male privilege, uh, systemic sexism, and uh, mansplaining. What's, is mansplaining a, a, a measurable thing? I mean, is it a like, species of social science studying mansplaining? What is mansplaining anyway? Do you know? Did you learn? Um, I'm not sure. I think it's any time a man speaks, really. Huh. And so no, it you, isn't measurable. What did you, right, I mean, it's a, it's a species of dumbness, really. So, but what did you, it's propaganda, what did you say about gender that made her so mad, specifically? Well, I first referenced uh, entities like The Economist who have debunked the myth of the 77 cents on the dollar wage gap. And I also stated that biologists don't agree that there are more than two genders. Um, they don't believe that there are 72 genders or more across the board. M most of them disagree, and she really didn't appreciate that. So by citing the long-standing view of biologists, the hard scientists, Allison Downey, who supposedly you say she's a professor, tried to get you to stand in front of the class and take abuse. Did you do that? No, I didn't. I, I was supposed to, but she really didn't give me a chance. I was given 10 days to comply uh, but the day after she asked this of me, she decided to push it on through to the university's provost office to then hold a hearing, which would decide whether or not it could be allowed in class, period. Why do you go to this school? Or why does anybody go to this school or any other school? I mean, what are you getting out of this exactly? Well, I initially went for athletics my freshman year, but that's a long gone dream now. Um, I'm pretty much just stuck here. Man, I wish I could hire you. I would encourage you and anyone else who has any experience like this to drop out and join the workforce. It's not worth it. This is a joke. It's a bubble, and we're I all going to realize that in 10 years. Like, you're a brave man for coming on. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Tucker.